Hey guys, Astro Bella here, and today we're talking about Pisces in love. And first and foremost, if you like what I have to say and you want to hear more, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my page. And if you love astrology, make sure to download my app, Astro Bella, which is in the App Store and on Google Play. You can get your birth chart on there and your yearly horoscope, your daily horoscope, and so many more astrological goodies. All right, let's dive right in. Pisces in love. Now, Pisces loves very deeply. They're also very romantic. They are in their feels and their emotions their water signs so they're very deep they feel things very deeply they're very compassionate they'll know what you're feeling they'll know what you're thinking even okay they're one of the most psychically attuned signs okay their third eyes are wide open okay so they feel all the little subtle energies within the relationship they're very in tune with your subtle energies and their own, but that could be a lot for them because they're constantly feeling a lot so they can be very sensitive in relationships. They can get hurt very easily. And if they get hurt, they have a tendency to swim away just like a fish. They're immutable signs, okay? So they sometimes don't know what they want, okay? They're here and they're there. They're acting upon their emotions. They're feminine signs, so they're not even showing you right up front that they like you they're kind of waiting for you to pursue them they're not going to show you they're not going to be very demonstrative with their love okay they're feeling things out they're trying to figure out how they feel about things they're probably feeling so much they're trying to process all of that they're going to move slow they probably have this idealized picture in their head of what this romance could be and no one can ever live up to their ideals okay it's always a lot um so pisces they can suffer a lot in relationships because they have very high expectations um they think that all relationships are a, a fairy tale or a romance novel sailing off into the sunset together and they can get disappointed very easily when they see that it's not that um pisces they want to escape reality okay so to them love is like a drug love is a way to escape this cruel world and they're looking for someone that they can do that with where they could be in the land of fairy tales and poems and love letters okay love is art love is beauty love is another realm for them so they place a very high value on love um and they can feel love very deeply but they get hurt very easily with all with the water element they're they're very connected to their emotions and they act upon their emotions the mutability makes them changeable so they're they're feeling this then they're feeling that they they want you then they don't want you it's it's hard to know for sure with a pisces but at the same time if they do love you they're very selfless they're willing to do anything for you because they're so compassionate and so understanding of others feelings that to them it's like doing for others is just like doing for themselves because they understand people on such a deep level they're the last sign of the zodiac so they're a combination out of all the signs and that's what makes them the most compassionate out of all the signs they may not be the most reliable but at least they're the most compassionate <laughs> so they can get hurt very easily you have to be careful with their feelings um you have to acknowledge their feelings uh and you know make sure that they know that their feelings are valid because they are they have this level of this ability to feel things so deeply which is truly a gift but it could just lead them to be very hurt and when they're hurt sometimes they could completely disappear they could ghost you they could just do something at the level of of that you hurt them if you hurt them at a certain level they'll do something that will hurt you at that same level back okay <laughs> they're not afraid to get revenge if needed um it takes them, you know, but they can, they're changeable. So it takes them time to process, but they can get over hurt. Okay. They can get over hurt. They're just, they're so, they have such big hearts. Okay. They're, and their hearts just absorb everything. They absorb, they're like sponges with them. It's really hard to have boundaries with them. They're like merging with the energy of everyone else around them. And in a relationship, they're merging with the energy of their partner and they're picking up all of that person's stuff. And that could be really draining for them. It's almost too much. And that's why Pisces desire to escape reality because reality to them is a lot. It's more than it would be for the other signs because they're 
the feelings of everyone else, their own feelings, and sometimes it really does make them want to swim away. They are very slippery, just like that fish. It's hard to keep a firm grip on a Pisces because they could just disappear and then you know say they're going to do something and then do the opposite and they're they're this way and they're that way the mutable water is impossible to grasp um but yeah they're 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 just in the land of feelings all the time and they have quite a vivid imagination okay so they can be imagining stuff about the relationship that's not real <laughs> they could just be projecting a lot of stuff on you that they think that is happening but really it's their it's their imagination they just need to come back down to earth sometimes and be like okay this is what's real. They're not very practical. They're not the practical signs. So, I mean, sometimes they do really well with earth signs because earth signs help bring them back down to earth, especially Virgo, because Virgo is their opposite sign. So or Virgo creates balance for them. Uh, Capricorn and Taurus also does really well with Pisces because that's a really nice balance there. They, they need to be brought back down to earth. Um, they do amazing with the other water signs, of course, because water signs and water signs they're going to understand each other's level of depth and they're going to have the most beautiful, most romantic union. Um, it, although it could be painful, it's always going to be the most beautiful, the most deep. Now, they struggle a little bit with with air because air is a little bit more detached um, in their head, uh, less understanding of emotions. And with fire, they... They also struggle with fire because <laughs> fire is very disconnected from their emotions as well. Sometimes they're magnetically attracted to Sagittarius because Sagittarius is also ruled by Jupiter and Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. So they're all about faith. They're all about believing. And those two signs could just really believe in and trust the universe together. They're both very spiritual signs. Pisces are super spiritual. So they need spirituality within their relationship. They need, you know, they want someone that they can meditate with, that they could talk about crazy spiritual realizations with and explore the esoteric side of life with because they're really connected to what's beyond the physical they're they're not even living in this physical world they're living in a little bit of a fairy tale land and they want their relationship to be like a fairy tale too um but be patient with them they're not going to show you that they like you right away they're they're waiting for you to, to do something about it and uh they just just show them that you're a romantic and they will love you write them a poem they'll they'll appreciate it for life and if you're a pisces looking for love i hope you find that fairy tale love but at the same time remember that uh love takes work relationships take work okay sometimes you have to come back down to earth and put in effort if you really want something long term but i know you can do it pisces you're learning and you're evolving especially with saturn being in pisces currently um so you guys are becoming stronger and more practical all right, I hope that helped. That's all I've got for you today. I will see you guys in the next video.